What's up guys, it's Tej. I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna make a cuckoo type beat. Kuko. I don't even know how to pronounce it. How to pronounce Kuko. It's Kuko. Okay. Today we're gonna make a Kuko beat. Before we get into it, I just wanna say like and subscribe it really helps out the channel. Thank you. If you like the content, like and subscribe. But if you hate it then so all the drum sounds that I'm using in this beat are gonna be available for free download in the description below. Okay, to start, I'm just gonna lay down some keys. And for the keys, I use the DX7 plugin by Arteria. I just used the electric piano on it. It's literally the first setting once you open it up. Then I added the drip plugin uh, with the lo-fi preset. I love this plugin. And then a little bit of chorus and compression. Then I'm just gonna lay a simple melody down on the guitar. For the guitar to get that wobbly sound, I added a little rotor cabinet uh, within pedal board in Logic. Then I added an amp, EQ'd it, and compressed it a little bit as well. Next I'm gonna add a little vocal. I'm just gonna record into my voice memos on my phone and then bring it to my computer. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Okay, that may have sounded really weird, but just trust me. And now those vocals sound like this. On those vocals, I added a little delay with guitar rig and then some reverb. Now I'm just gonna lay down some accent keys just to fill it out a little bit. And for the accent keys, I just used the Say Again preset and the Dext plugin and I used a little rotor cabinet as well on those keys. Then I added a little bell melody. Then I added some strings on top just to give a little tension to the song. Then I added the bass. I used the Scarby Rickenbacker bass out of contact. Now let's get into the drums. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the pitch by slowing the project down. So you wanna export all your tracks using Command E in Logic, and then bring them back into the project. Once you bring the files back into the project, change all the files to speed effects here. And this is Logic only. I'm not sure how you would do it in Ableton or FL, but there's probably a way to do this. And now what you wanna do is bring the project tempo down. So this is what the original sounds like. This is what it sounds like slowed down. As you can tell, it sounds detuned and run down, and that's the exact effect I'm going for here. And I ended up arranging the beat and everything, so here's the final beat. So 
all the drum sounds that I'm using in this beat are going to be available for free download in the description below. If you want to hear the full beat, I'll put the link in the description. This beat is also for sale, so if you're an artist and want to purchase this beat, hit me up. And that is all for today, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.